Got questions about extreme hunger? Well, I've got answers. More specifically, I answer the top 10 most frequently asked questions about extreme hunger in my completely free extreme hunger guide. Some of the questions I answer are, what to do if you experience extreme hunger when you're already weight restored? How do you tell if it's mental hunger or emotional eating? What's the difference between extreme hunger and binge eating disorder? And I, of course, answer seven other common questions. On the last page of the guide is a link to go even deeper into overcoming extreme hunger for good. So trust me, you are going to want to grab this and read it all the way through. To grab your guide, simply head over to livelabelfree.com forward slash extreme dash hunger dash guide. So that's live label free, like the name of this podcast, forward slash extreme dash hunger dash guide. Now let's get back to today's episode. Welcome to Live Label Free, the podcast where we talk about all things eating disorder recovery, autism, entrepreneurship, and so much more. I'm your host, Livia Sarah, and my mission is to inspire individuals from across the globe to live a life in which they feel fulfilled and free from limiting labels. I am so excited to have you here and cannot wait to dive into the episode. Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to the Live Label Free podcast. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button wherever you are watching or listening. And if you like whatever you're watching or listening to, go ahead and rate and review the podcast. You can do this on Apple Podcasts, but I know Spotify now also has a star rating option, and I'm sure the other platforms have their own review system as well. Anyways, last week's episode was all about mental hunger and I shared how fighting mental hunger is like playing a game of tug of war with yourself. Not only is it exhausting, but it simply doesn't work. The harder you fight your mental hunger, the harder it will fight back and the more miserable you will feel. Deep down, you know this is true. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening to my podcast in search of permission to honor your mental hunger. Which actually reminds me of something else I want to bring up, and that is a message someone sent me a couple weeks ago regarding all of my free content, in which he said, Wow, it's crazy how you just read my mind. Everything you say about extreme hunger is so accurate, and it's exactly how I feel. Now, the reason I thought this was funny was because I was like, I didn't read your mind, I had your mind. For years, I thought the very same things you are thinking right now. My mind swirled with thoughts about food and exercise 24-7, and I was constantly asking myself some of the following questions. What if my mental hunger is just a bad habit? What if my mental hunger is just an excuse to emotionally eat? What if giving in to my mental hunger will neurally rewire my brain to become addicted to food? All of these what ifs though, these were manifestations of something much deeper. I didn't trust my mental hunger. After all the years I spent obsessing over food, memorizing nutrition panels and ingredient lists and finding the quote unquote healthiest ingredient to substitute in recipes, I believed I had simply conditioned my brain to think about food 24 7 and because i believed my constant thoughts about food were conditioned i didn't believe eating more would make any difference in fact i believed eating more would simply intensify the tug of a never-ending war with mental hunger so i continued to condition my brain to believe what i'd been conditioning it to believe for years your mental hunger cannot be trusted and therefore it does not count as hunger I stopped myself when I was just barely physically full, just in case my lingering desire to keep eating was mental hunger. I stuck to the serving sizes on the nutrition panels, just in case an extra spoonful was mental hunger. I engaged in a rigid exercise routine even when I felt exhausted, 
just so I would deserve my next meal or snack. And by the way, this is a form of mental hunger because you are literally trying to work out a way in which you deserve to eat more food by thinking about movement and exercise. Now, the only thing engaging in these behaviors resulted in, however, was intensified fear. The only reason that you feel your mental hunger will never go away is because you haven't yet provided your brain with evidence that a mental hunger-free life is possible for you. Just as darkness is the absence of light, trust is simply the absence of knowledge. You don't trust your mental hunger because you don't yet have the knowledge of what satisfying it will bring. The only way to gain that knowledge, the only way to know what will really happen if you honor your mental hunger and ultimately prove to your body that mental hunger can be trusted, is to honor your mental hunger. You know that how you're living right now isn't making your mental hunger go away, so don't you think it's about time to do something different? If you are committed to making that difference and jumping into the possibility, which I promise you is actually an inevitability, of a mental hunger-free life, my course Extremely Hungry to Completely Satisfied guides you every step of the way. It's the very resource I wish I had when I was consumed by fear of endless weight gain that I would never stop eating and that my mental hunger would just never go away and not to mention information I wish I knew when I was experiencing all of the physical discomfort that comes with honoring your extreme hunger like painful digestive issues and hormonal changes like pubertal acne all over your freaking face. (laughs) Everything you ever wanted to know about extreme hunger and overcoming it is in that course. And I know this because, again, I used to be where you are. I used to think your thoughts. And now I'm here on the other side of an eating disorder, living with full freedom and with full acceptance of my body and whatever weight and size it chooses to settle at. Living a life of abundance is 100% possible for you too, my friend, but only if you fully invest in that life. No one can do the work for you, but I sure can be a guide to make doing that work easier. To learn more about my course and how to enroll, simply head over to livelabelfree.com forward slash extreme dash hunger dash course. I hope to be your guide on your extreme hunger journey. And with that said, I also hope to chat with you in the next episode. Bye bye for now.